Thursday marked an annual event that allows Elmwood School students to take an active role for the pre-race celebration. Each year, a group of elite Kenyan runners stop by the elementary school for a pre-marathon rally. It is an event that has left an indelible mark on current high school seniors Kelly Lodge and Kim Bullock. I am standing here before you today because I have an incredible passion for running. Running is a part of who I am. The Kenyans have always astonished me with their kind hearts and welcoming arms. They never let winning and all the attention get to them. They are caring to everyone, including their high level competition. This is something that they have taught me as I have watched them compete in the Boston Marathon and visit Elmwood School for over the years. I remember when I was sitting on the floor almost 10 years ago, right where you all are sitting now. I was in awe of these Kenyan runners when they came into the gym. There's nothing quite like meeting athletes so talented that they make running 26.2 miles is like a jog in the park. I remember being so excited that I finally got to meet the runners who I've watched line up at the very front of the starting line on Marathon Monday every year. Elmwood Principal Eileen Silver, who was honored with a banner, was quick to point out that the runners who attend this event always manage to do especially well on race day. Since 1993, which is 19 years ago, the first time they came, every year at least one of the winners, either the men's or the winner's winner, has been sitting here. So I expect you are looking at a winner this year. Everybody who runs the marathon is a winner. Two of the most prolific runners in attendance were defending champion and course record holder Robert Chariot and four-time women's champ Catherine Dureva. Both runners say this event means just as much to them as it does to the starstruck students. And you kids, may God bless you so much. Thank you. If you don't know the kind of joy that you gave us all of us, it has a lot of energy in us. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're impacting to us today for what is coming on Monday. One thing I want to tell you, I cannot let you down. When I'm in Kenya, I say I want to return back to Boston every now and then because my record is in Boston. So I think you all the people. Those in attendance hope that the kids take away more from this day than just meeting famous athletes. So what can all of us learn from these world-class athletes today? I encourage you to see what happens when you do your best to try our best. Learn what these great athletes have learned, that when you work hard, great things happen. Your best is about you. Try hard, and you will be the best you can be. Work hard, and never, ever quit. Members of Tom Keene's third grade class had the opportunity to perform a song and dance, which was so moving that the runners even got in on the action. Keen has a personal connection to Kenya and hopes this experience teaches his students about the importance of appreciating other cultures. You know, the classroom is decorated with things from Kenya. My aunt was a missionary in Kenya for 15 years and um, we've been lucky enough to host them in the classroom before the assembly and uh, it's been a great experience for the kids and they had a wonderful time this morning. After the rally, the third graders met in groups with some of the runners and were able to ask them questions. Many of the students were inquisitive, wanting to know about the lives, culture, and training habits of these elite athletes. The afternoon concluded with both the M1 students and members of the high school track team getting the chance to actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the runners once around the track. Be sure to cheer on the elite runners as well as all the other participants on Monday for the 115th running of the Boston Marathon. Check the HCAM website for information regarding marathon logistics and timing. With this HCAM News Report, I'm Stephanie Kane.